<clears throat> okay everybody i believe we are live it's difficult for me to gauge when it actually goes live and, wh and while while it's still just getting there so great to have you all um let's see i'm i'm sorry about the change in time um i've been to uh check if i'm allergic to penicillin or not so i've got these marks up my arm that if it starts within the next few days wasim great to have you good evening um wasim was listening to me on saturday um but he's listening to me actually giving the class uh live and uh, now he's here it's lovely to have you wasim and vitali lovely to have you as well so hi vitali wasim yuri patricia rupa um hadi and Patricia and SSV and Lucy and Genia and I don't know who else I think that's probably it okay so good evening Manisco great to have you so next stream will be on Thursday 23rd of February at 4 p.m. UK time normal time and that will be uh, sentence transformations okay so let's start with this this is mul um, multiple choice you've got to choose the uh, right word to go in the gap of the ones given okay oh I actually I should have um, given you the run-up to this um, they were talking about a couple of experiments where I s um, the talking about where a ball is yeah um okay in one experiment she asked people to decide whether an object say a ball was left or right of a central figure an animal human object or a human object uh based on two descriptions given in spanish or or um english um okay so yeah um spanish monolinguals located ball using intrinsic reference frame half <laughs> sorry about this yeah yeah base was the previous one hi abdom <laughs> abmaram great to have you as well hey ronan so Spanish mon mon this is talking about a, a test with uh, a ball and um, a, it's a uh, and, and a dog and they're trying to try they want people to say where these things are so hmm so maybe you'll see you'll see that now Ron, and i hope i hope you can see um let's see vitali's gone a for the first one uh and S sunset's gone a for the first one uh okay so yeah we, we some answers let's see spanish monolinguals located a the a zero article ball using the a the an zero article intrinsic reference frame 78 percent of the time uh and english monolinguals 52 percent of the time okay genia has gone for the and the thank you lucy that's exactly the point the ball has been mentioned before we know which ball located the ball ha huh. uh that's good so that's good using uh intrinsic reference frame ha huh. okay i'm happy with the first one wasim the second one no okay here it depends what you're referring to vitali milad great to have you lovely to have you milad so william sharon lovely to see you goes the and an 
Rupert goes A and Anne. Yuri goes A and V. Hi, Pink. Lovely to have you. And and Yuri's changed changed uh, her mind and gone the other way. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me give you some answers. Spanish monolinguals located the ball. That was what I was trying to do earlier. It's why I was in a bit of a, a mess. Um, located the ball um, before because it's been mentioned. Shalom Renyard. Ha. Yeah. It's okay, uh, Ollie. Great to have you. Using. Okay. So, reference frame. Let's see. We have an intrinsic reference frame and an extrinsic reference frame and various other different re reference frames. Therefore, it's an, extrin an intrinsic reference frame. Yeah, one of the possible. Um, zero article doesn't work um, because, let's see, we're not talking about intri uh, intrinsic reference frames generally. Okay, so you the ball and an intrinsic reference frame. Let me go on. I'm, I'm getting a bit bogged down. Great to have you, Akash and Milad. So here we go. And here's the next one. Okay. Ooh. I should have put this one earlier, but it's okay. So, speakers of English. English is speakers. English speakers only chose the intrinsic frame if the possessive sentence, the ball is on the dog's left, was used. Yep. Well, that... <clears throat> oh, thank you, Ronan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so kind of you, Ronan. I'm such a lucky, a, a lucky teacher. So, Rupert goes for English speakers. So does SSV and Genia. Vitali says speakers of English, English speakers. Lucy for English speakers. Intrinsic value is often used in finance. Uh, An intrinsic reference frame. So, Ollie goes for English speakers. Renyard for English speakers. William Sharon for uh, English speakers as well. And the same for Hadi. Thank you, Leffy. Lovely to see you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you again to Ronan. Okay, so looking at this. Speakers of English. English is speakers. English speakers. Well, the possessive doesn't work. Yeah? English is speakers. This doesn't work because, huh. Okay, English speakers for Wasim. Okay, a possessive doesn't work because English isn't alive. Well, sometimes I think it is. Um, let's see, speakers of English would work, but I think more naturally English speakers. Normally we use this noun-noun collocation when these two things go together commonly. And English and speakers, these go together commonly. When things go together less commonly, less normally, we use this noun preposition noun, speakers of English. But it's also possible. So the best is probably English speakers. Speakers of English is also possible. So English speakers speakers yeah. okay Akash good luck because I know it's not an easy exam and let's put the next one here yeah. okay it's too long let me just modify this slightly and now it fits in two pieces nicely <laughs> English is alive and comes to haunt us when it comes to grammar. The problem is there is no basis for the grammar, Lucy. And that's the problem. Hey, well, good luck to both of you. The phrasing didn't matter to Spanish speakers. They simply preferred the intrinsic frame unless the object was lifeless, inanimate, still, defunct, static. 
It was a vase or a car rather than a dog, statue or human being. So, ooh. With no D, definitely genia. So, let's see. We've got inanimate for Vitali. SSV's gone for lifeless. Um, inanimate for genia. Lucy goes for inanimate. Ollie goes for inanimate. Uh, Renyard for inanimate. Rupa for inanimate. Ronan for inanimate. Wasim for inanimate. William Sharon for inanimate as well. Okay, so let's see. And Hadi for inanimate as well. Um, notice SSV lifeless. Um, normally something that's lifeless implies that it did have life before. Yeah, or very often the atmosphere in this club is lifeless. The city is lifeless. There are no tourists here at the moment. It's absolutely lifeless. Yeah, whereas inanimate is talking about something that has never has never had life. Yeah, it's never been alive. Yeah, it's inanimate says it's unable to move. It doesn't have life. Yeah. Hmm. A, sta a statue, but as it's so, um, ah, lifeless. <laughs> lifeless is saying dead. Um, the uh, there was the life. Lifeless means dead, whereas inanimate means was ne never was alive. Had no uh, li ha had no life to it. To reanimate, yes. You reanimate something that's lifeless. Yeah, but if something's inanimate, it's never had any life to it. Notice still means doesn't move. Stand still, don't move. Defunct means dead. Yeah, or doesn't work anymore. So this company is now defunct. And it's something that's static doesn't move. Lovely to have you, Mohammed Omar. Okay, I'm sorry you're having problems, P. So, the answer here is inanimate, definitely. Inanimate. Insentient. I would say non-sentient. Non-sentient. Um, insentient. I don't think it works, Wasim. Yeah. Okay, that's good, Rainyard. The si the city is absolutely dull, drab, tedious, dreary, and lifeless. Is defunct useless? Defunct means something that no longer functions. So my old car is now defunct. This this article, Hadi, is about how the language that you speak um, changes the way that you th you think. Yeah. Okay, um, okay, this video is, is great for vocabulary. It's what it, what it does. Okay, so something showed that bilinguals were somewhere in the middle between monolingual Spanish and English speakers and were more influenced, convinced, induced, allured by the reference frame most common, used most commonly in the country they lived in. The body of a defunct soldier, you could, um, let's see, defunct, I would probably say, yeah, of a, of a dead soldier. Defunct, I guess you could use it for somebody who's dead, but it's not common, Renyard. Okay, we've got influence for SSV, for Genia, for Vitali, for Oli, for Rupa, obsolete and defunct. If something's obsolete, it might still work. If something is defunct, it doesn't work anymore. They're close, but not interchangeable, SSV. He's here, Leffy. Okay, influence for Ronan. Hello, Aditya Kumar. Influence for Renyard. Um, 
Pep Ax is missing, definitely Lef uh, Leffy. Influence preferred Patricia. Obsolete says that something is archaic. Defunct says it doesn't work anymore. Yeah? Um, so obsolete it might still it, it might still work but it's old fashioned defunct it just doesn't work influence for wasim uh influence for Sh william sharon influence for lucy williams doncor lovely to have you influence yuri for influenced uh hadi for influenced and ha huh. Vitaly answered and I missed it. He, he then changed his mind. Okay, so they were more convinced by the reference frame. Conduce. I w I, I'm not very familiar with the word conduce, but <laughs> um, conduce I think talks about to drive somebody to a position to bring somebody to a, a position um, okay so let's see if you're convinced by something there's an argument yeah uh, that convinces you um, evidence induces you allured something attracts you but um, here they were more influenced, very definitely. Influenced uh, by the reference frame used in their country. Um, funked Mohammed Ahmad, the funked is function. Yeah? Uh, a con a conducive atmosphere okay yeah an atmosphere that is conducive to study is good for it helps you do it yeah defunct obsolete rules obsolete machinery good yeah okay the relation funct is function uh, Per, you go through the function. Defunct, it doesn't function anymore, Mohammed Omar. Okay, so let's continue. And, ah, oh, next one's. Okay. All of these are just a touch too long. And cut, paste, paste. Spanish and English speakers translate, decipher, diagnose, interpret spatial relationships in a slightly different way, says Tenebrink. And once the speaker speaks both languages, their preferences shift in different ways. Okay, this one looks like, like it's an easy one. We've got interpret for SSV, for Vitali, for Genia, for Wasim, for Reynard, for Ollie, for Lucy, for Williams, and for Yuri, and for Rupa as well. Okay, this one, I think this one was quite easy. Um, and interpret for Ronan as well. Late for person, defunct for things. That's that's quite good. I like that, Hadi. Yeah. Um, the late Mr. Simmons, the defunct car. Okay, William Sharon has gone interpret. Ha, we, could we use construe? How they can? Yeah, they construe them differently. Very definitely. Understand would work very nicely, Wasim. Interpret for pink. Ah. Uh, to be influenced in any manner, something has to be alluring to leave an imprint on the mind. Okay. Too easy, not worth a response. Thank you, Leffy. And Kali goes for interpret, to perceive as well for Genia. A person can translate a vision into a reality, definitely. Um... It, they could let's see I think decipher could work uh, pink if you decipher it you're you're having difficulty doing it whereas interpret it, it, you're doing it you're doing it very easily yeah 
Okay, so if you they are interpreting these relations in a different way. They could be deciphering them, but if they decipher them, they have to think about them for a long time. And clearly, they don't have problems uh, doing this, and that's why interpret is, is better. They don't translate them, because if you speak two languages, you don't translate. And to diagnose is to look at something and find and find what what the problem is so interpret these in a different way let's try the next one they view them i like that vitali they view them in a different way here let's put everything everything like for this video thank you ronan thank you for your donation as well rofan you decipher a crux. Mm. You decipher a crossword puzzle. Yes. Ha. And. Okay. So we've got answers here. Okay. So let's see. I thought that was quite fascinating because people won't normally realize that their preferences shift exchange via stir convert because they've learned a second language okay so we we've got shift for vitali for lucy for ssv for ollie for rupert for genia for williams for yuri for Yen renyard okay so let's look at the other ones uh, shift for Hadi as well and for Williams Doncor. So look, the, our preferences convert. You convert from one one system to another, from one religion to another, from one idea to another. Okay, to stir. Fourth, maybe maybe you you stir people's. Uh, uh, you stir the, up the crowd. To, you stir your drink. You stir your soup. Yeah. Um, to veer is to turn. To turn. To turn at an angle. The uh, car veered to the left. Yeah. So no manji means a thumbs down lefty. Well. Yep. Well. Let's see. She's probably got things to do. It's now. I think probably something like eleven o'clock in India, so it's late. It's late, Leffy. Um, <coughs> you don't exchange preferences. You shift. You change. Yes, that's it, Wasim. Yeah, to shift. If something shifts, yeah, your preferences shift. They move a little bit. Yeah, I shifted the computer yeah to shift is to move something a little bit and definitely that's the answer here so shift and well <laughs> to father a son means to be the father of a son to uh making making babies williams yeah to, to father a son it doesn't mean to look after it it's just the biological bit williams Okay, <clears throat> and I need to place this. A paradigm shift. I love it. A change in the normal way something is done. A paradigm shift. Either way, it's something to keep in mind. If you're electing, gleaning, preferring, picking a meeting place with someone who speaks a different language to you. So, we've got different answers. I love it. This is something to keep in mind if you're electing, gleaning, preferring, picking a meeting place with someone who speaks a different language to you. Definitely, I will explain glean. It's a word I like. Okay, we've got preferring from Vitali. We've got picking from SSV. Uh, picking for Genia. Electing for Leffy. Uh, Lucy goes picking, Ollie goes picking, Rupa goes picking, so does Renyard and Pink and William Sharon, electing for Yuri, picking for Hadi, choosing for Vitali, and picking for Patricia. Let's see. 
<coughs> okay, to Glee electing for um, Ronan and picking for Williams Donkle. To glean, the first meaning of to glean is to um, to pick up food in a farmer's field after he has harvested. Yeah, so um, the farmer harvests the grain in his in his field, and then um, you can. Um, he will allow you to glean. To, he will allow the poor people to glean. Be, they walk over the field and they pick up little pieces of um, um, uh, of corn that have fallen. And this is to glean. To glean is to pick up the little lost bits. But then to glean, to collect, to collect together, to... Uh, find the little bits of information that you can. So uh, maybe somebody won't tell you the exact truth, but they, uh, you can glean bits of information by uh, w w the the the, uh, the information that's missing. To glean, to garner, yeah, to glean glean data, choosing. If you're choosing, it is definitely the best word, but it's not here. Okay, so to glean, you're you're not probably told something directly, but you use evidence and little bits that you can find to collect together. Yeah. Um, okay. If you're preferring, you don't pre you're preferring a meeting place. Well, firstly. We don't use the verb prefer in the continuous tense. If you prefer, but if you're preferring, no. Um, electing. If, you ha if you're electing, then various people are um, voting for it. Yeah. Um, normally, electing, this is talking about an election process. This is talking about politics. No, this has to be picking. Yeah, to pick and choose. To glean the artifacts, mm, I guess you 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 could glean the glean artifacts. But um, let's see if you're um, if there's a lot of rubbish and there are one or two good things, you glean the good bits from. Uh, huh. Which of these chosen spots have you elected as your preferred meeting venue? I would prefer selected rather than elected. Yeah. Okay. Um, so picking, picking, to pick, to pick, to choose. Very definitely. Okay. And let's try the next one. 278 is far too long. Bear with me. Okay. Speakers of some languages also think, focus, target, highlight, devote more on actions than the wider context. When watching videos involving motion, English, Spanish, Arabic and Russian speakers tend to describe what happened in terms of action, such as a man walking. OK, this looks like a landslide. We've got focus for Vitali, for SSV, for Genia Wazim, for Rupa, Lucy, Lucy Renyard, Oli, Hadi, <laughs> Ronan, Pink, and William Sharon. Okay, I think very definitely. And focus for Yuri as well. Um, yeah, fiesta, yes. Fiesta, fiesta. <laughs> Love it. So to focus, yeah, you focus on something, it's unanimous. Yeah. Yeah, also notice, focus on, think about, target without on, highlight but no on, devote to. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one, that was easy. You glean various shades of grey from black and white. Oh, that's very good. Glean is not an easy one. <laughs> Capri. 
Yeah, I know somebody who calls herself Capri. So let's try the next one. Ah, uh, 219. Grr. Speakers of German, Afrikaans and Swedish, on the other hand, focused on the universal, inclusive, unabridged, extensive, holistic, bulk picture, including the end point, describing it as a man walks towards a car. So, focus. So, hi to, great to have you, José Ignacio. Okay, so we've got holistic from Genia, holistic from Renyard, and holistic from Yuri. Holistic from Rupa as well. Speakers of German, Afrikaans, and Swedish, on the other hand, focused on the universal, inclusive, unabridged, extensive, holistic, bulk picture including the end point describing it as a man walks towards a car put emphasis on focused on very definitely patricia okay yes we've got holistic for genia for renyard for yuri for rupa for hadi for ollie for ronan uh for ssv W William Sharon is uh, has gone for unabridged. Wasim has gone for extensive. This is interesting. Let's see if we get some more votes. Okay, bulk picture. No, you don't. Don't oh, the bulk picture. Normally, you buy in bulk. Bulk talks about large quantities of something yeah bulk definitely doesn't work the universal picture but the universal picture ha i've got a problem that looks like korean so welcome our korean friend who's gone for extensive huh. um Universal says every, everywhere. I love it. I love it, Wasim. You st you started to change. Pink is now wondering about it, uh, extensive. Lucia says she has no idea. Patricia goes holistic. The universal picture. It could be, but it it, it it's too strong, as Genia says. <coughs> The inclusive picture. If something's inclusive, it includes lots and lots of uh, different pi different things. Um, unabridged. If normally a bri to a bridge is to make something shorter, particularly uh, uh, a literary work, um, uh, something that you're going to read. Give me the unabridged truth. Yeah, but normally something that's abridged is is somebody explains it to in short in short words. The end point included in the end point. Ha. Huh. Okay. I I I like what I like what your idea was. Seem. I'm looking at this word extensive. The extensive picture. Woof. So it's it, 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 I think probably I think extensive works. I think ha huh, the overall picture that which is a good one and holistic holistic talks about the whole picture, yeah. And therefore the answer is um, holistic. However, I think that the extensive picture. It probably works as well, but I don't think it's as good. I think I would use extensive as my second choice. So he's, he's done extensive research into this. Yeah. On the bigger picture. Yes. Let's see. Bacon's essays are a bridge. Very good. So holistic says whole. Extensive 
the a large amount of it not just small details yeah um extensive says extend extended more uh, in more detail a lot of so focusing on the extensive picture holistic is is better the all embracing that's a very nice one as well okay i think i'm going to stop with with that though it's been lovely having you all today so let's see next uh stream is on thursday 23rd of feb at 4 p.m uk time a holistic approach I'm still wondering about that extensive from Wasim on this last one. I think extensive is an interesting word to use here. Um, I think it's probably more interesting than the, than the holistic that they've used. Okay, so I, next stream on Thursday the 23rd, 4 p.m. UK time, and that will be um, sentence transformations. So thank you, Ronan, for the donation. I really appreciate it. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you for coming, Renyard. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Manisco. Thank you, Ronan. Thank you, Bogdan and Rupa and Patricia and Genia and Hadi and Pink and Wasim. Thank you for coming, Wasim. It's great to have you. And Renyard and Pink and who else? Okay, thank you, Lucy. Thank you, our Korean friend who's joined. I wish I could uh, pronounce your name. My Korean is absolute rubbish. Nice to see you, William. Sharon and SSV and Ollie and Rupa and Yuri and Jose Ignacio and Lefty. Lovely to see you. Uh, William's Doncor as well. And who else do I need to thank? Well, and thank you to anyone else that, that, that I have, have missed. Oh, thank you, Mela Safar, as well. Lovely to have you. So, take care, have a great evening, and I will see you on Thursday. So, thank you all for coming.